to be here. I'm a little nervous, so I'm just going to picture the whole audience in their underwear. <laughs> <laughs> This Hall of Fame. Please welcome my friend Aaron Sorrells. Well, hey. I think I might be turning into an old white guy. I realized that the other day when I was hanging out with a bunch of other old WGs. It was 7 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday and we were arguing about what brand of mayonnaise tastes the best. <laughs> old WG in the house! Yeah, there's been some other indicators too that I might be turning into an old white guy. I'm wearing this shirt. That's an indicator. Yeah, I, uh, I whistle a lot. I'm not even all that happy, but by golly, I sure do whistle a lot. I say things like, by golly. I've got a CPAP machine. Yeah, that's a machine that I plug my face into to make sure I don't forget to breathe at night. Looks kind of like an oxygen tube, but bigger and more motivated. <laughs> Looks a little bit like scuba gear, and sounds a lot like someone keeps opening and closing the door on a windy day. <laughs> it's sexy. My wife digs it. Not in a fetish kind of a way. She's never been like, put on the mask. <laughs> I'm your daddy. <laughs> she digs it though. I know she digs it because when I first got it, I was taking it for a little test drive and when I opened up my eyes, she was standing over me taking pictures like a paparazzi. <laughs> so she likes it. Yeah, as Sherry mentioned, I'm Aaron, the unemployed alcoholic. Yeah, and that's helped me to learn a couple things. Like I learned that there is a lot of ways to spell Aaron wrong. I was at Starbucks the other day and the barista asked me if it was spelled with a Y. I don't even know how you'd spell the hearing with a Y. And neither did she. I asked her and she just started spitting out vowels like she was on the Wheel of Fortune. She said, A-E-Y. Oh, I don't know, it's been a long day. It was 7.30 in the morning. But I cut her some slack. I said, it's A.A. Ron. Like Alcoholics Anonymous Ron, only shorter. And hopefully soon they have better coffee. Ooh, that's always a good read of a room. Huh? How many alcoholics in here? <laughs> I love that chuckle. <laughs> yeah, I am known as the unemployed alcoholic and a lot of people wonder how that happened. And uh, it was easy. <laughs> I was unemployed, I was battling the effects of alcoholism in my life, so I started doing comedy. <laughs> Just like that, I went from being an unemployed alcoholic to THE unemployed alcoholic. <laughs> this is the best job I've ever had. <laughs> People applaud when I start my shift. <laughs> On a busy day, I'll work anywhere from 3 to 15 minutes. <laughs> I get to tell jokes and have adventures. It's all right. I tried goat yoga. Yeah, if you don't know what goat yoga is, congratulations on being a normal human being. The only reason I know about goat yoga is because I am an upper middle class white one. Or at least that's my spirit in it. <laughs> no, uh, goat yoga is a lot like regular yoga, except you get on about the third pose and they release the goats. We get alive goats. I went uh, with full intentions of uh, making fun of it, but I kind of liked it. Goat yoga is awesome. You could say it's the greatest of all time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
I should say I am actually a recovering alcoholic. I am two and a half years sober. And that is with just two cheat days a week. Some of you are a bit too excited about that. Um, some of these are jokes and good luck getting away with it if you try. Some unemployed alcoholic told me the key to overcoming alcoholism is two cheat days a week. Not gonna get you very far. I'm Aaron Sorrells, the unemployed alcoholic. Thanks for letting me share.